Here it comes. Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Store. My name's Ammo. Guys, on the desk today we have the Corali Isuga XLR. Guys, as you know, if you've been watching the channel, the Co Rallies are a brand new platform to the channel. We bought a Synchro 4 and it handles so well that we had to try out its bigger brother, the Asuga. Now, if you haven't seen the running video of the Asuga, the first time we took it out, guys, be sure to check that video out just here. Those of you that are probably looking at the Asuga, it will probably give you an eye opener of what this car is all about. This car is powerful. We took this on a, a skate park there and it was the first time we have taken it on a jump and first launch on that ramp guys what does it do it pulls a 360 backflip now that was impressive you take a buggy to a skate park and you launch it what happens it just goes into the distance for miles guys they just shoot like a rocket they don't backflip, they don't front flip, they just launch like a missile. Incredible. Absolutely love this car. Unfortunately, in the last video, um, we did not get to do a Tarmac GPS speed run. So guys, without further ado, we're going to hit the road and we're going to go find a nice stretch of road and we're going to do a GPS run and let's see what we can achieve. Guys, we're here on location with our brand new co-rally Asuga XLR. Now, you've seen this at our skate park with a bit of action. However, we weren't overly impressed in terms of it around the track. We thought the Synchro 4 hooked up much better around the track. Now, personally, I think that was down to power. This car was fast. And if you've seen, we put it on a bit of tarmac and it surprised us, didn't it, Kyle? Yeah, yeah, it was a lot better, a lot more reactive. So, um, today, we've come out onto some tarmac. We've got an awesome day and we're gonna try and see what this thing can pull on a tarmac GPS speed run completely stock. Guys, let's get into this. Kyle has a controller for the Asuga. You're looking forward to this one, ain't you, Kyle? Yeah, I just wanna see if it actually impresses me this time. <laughs> I personally think it was great. It's more, I think the car itself, guys, is more catered to jumps, etc. As you've seen on the last video, it did a backflip straight out the box and not a lot of buggies we've had um do backflips out the box so guys yes it is the first run video however we can't end this video without testing it on this ramp so kyle's going for it oh backflip landed executed nicely <laughs> they normally just shoot like missiles don't they kyle yeah 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 that's it i suppose so so it was impressive for that air control yeah 100 percent. and when we ran it on that piece of tarmac it it was great it was wheeling it, it was good. going weren't it yes it wants to flip a lot whoa i think this is going to be rapid on a tarmac speed run whoa <laughs> Whoa! What was all that about? So you, you understand the concept of a high side? Yeah. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, today's going to be uh, one of those. We're either going to be impressed with it. Uh, we'll see what it can pull. So this is completely stock. I'm going to start the GPS up. And it's over to Kyle. Going to get a little feel for the car. Oh, he's not even hanging about. He's taking it all the way up. Not sure what the Co Rally controllers are like in terms of distance, guys. Coming back down. 
And here it comes. Let's see what she pulled. Oh, nice. <laughs> It will eat. <laughs> right, let's see what she got, guys. GPS here. Stop that there. We'll call it 58. Kyle's calling 58 already. No. More. More. What's up with you? More. You programmed to this car or something? Is it actually? Guys, it pulled 58 mile an hour. And now all of you are probably thinking, I've just run this off camera, but I can swear to you, I haven't. 58 mile an hour one car, you got it bang on the money, mate. Yeah. You normally do anyway. Yeah, I'm a GPS. <laughs> <laughs> He's a GPS. <laughs> Guys, we got 58 mile an hour out of it, completely stock. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, I think it's it's all right. It's impressive. Uh, RTR, out the box, 58 mile an hour, and it backflips as a buggy. Yeah. So I guess it serves its purpose on the channel. Big opinion. I think on the next video, guys, <laughs> with the Asuga, We'll probably come to the same location because this road seems to be decent. Hopefully the weather holds out and um, we can do a big opinion run on this and let's see if we can pull some bigger figures. But 58 mile an hour, I'm happy with that, but should we go for one more? Yeah, should we get one more run out of it? Yeah? yeah? We'll get one more run out of it, guys. Let me settle the GPS. Right, guys, reset the GPS. Press start on that. Over to Kyle. Let's see if we can beat that 58. He's absolutely going for it this time. Gunning it up all the way. Turned around at the top. Coming back down. Here it comes. Let's see what she pulled. <laughs> I think he's working the acceleration on it. <laughs> right, guys, let's see what she pulled. Let's stop the GPS there. Read that. What do you reckon? 59. 58 mile an hour. Yeah, cool. We're happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Happy with that, guys. 58 mile an hour. We've done two runs in it. It's quite impressive as an RTR vehicle out the box. It's great on a... Um, on ramps etc as you've seen the only pitfall about the car um, which i will openly say and um, like i said i'm not going to hide anything here i'm going to be open and honest the top arms are pretty weak um, though the asuga is supposed to be a basher vehicle you've seen in the last video it took a minor jump well i wouldn't even say minor. it was a decent jump in all fairness but it landed on all four wheels and it literally broke the molding line and I'll put a clip in it just here in the video for you to show you where it's cracked and I weren't impressed with that however the parts are pretty cheap and I'm impressed on the prices of the parts so I can't grumble at that I just thought it'd be a bit more stronger but hey ho you can't win at everything and as an RTR vehicle I'm happy with that I'm happy at 58 mile an hour out the box guys epic guys 58 mile an hour is what we pulled with the Asuga. What a car. I think on the actual tarmac, this car grips and goes. One thing I absolutely adore about it, it didn't go crazy to the point where it starts wheeling for no reason. It was very controllable in terms of throttle and it got to the speed really quickly. Really, really impressed with it, guys. Um, yeah. And I think to myself, this car has found a place on the channel. It's what I expected in terms of speed and power. And it delivers it perfectly. Guys, if you've enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash the notification button. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.